Hi there. I have done it. I have completed um, some some shooting with this rifle. This is the uh, Daystate Airwolf, uh, 40 foot pound and 22 caliber. And check out this. I've got 403 shots through it. That's all. I just charged it up. And I want to just do a review of it and what it did for accuracy. Um, I ended up using the Barracuda uh, match uh, in 22 cal, obviously, and it is the 0.51s. Um, these day states, this is the second day state that I have that likes the uh, 0.51 um, head size and skirt sizes. Try them out, check them out. Some of my gear that I'm running on this right now, <clears throat> I shot um, off of a rest, which you'll see in some photos coming up, and off of this um, F-Class bipod. This F-Class bipod is made by Sinclair, and you, you can get all sorts of adjustment and stuff on it. It's just a really nice shooting platform. Okay, uh, You attach it here to the forward sling stud, and you can adjust the elevation. If you look right here, it's a very fine adjustment. See that everybody? And you have these two pins it just follows up and down on. If I go like this, it increases so for elevation. Alright, so back to the rifle, I just want to show you some of the equipment. Uh, I'll talk about the rifle here in a bit, but a lot of people ask me about my equipment that I'm running, so I'm going to show you. I'm running uh, the sports match rings right here. Not this size, these are the lower ones, but this is what I have affixing my scope. Um, the scope that I'm using here, I'm a bit of a scope snob. I, 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 the jury is still out with me on the uh, on whether I would, I'm would i going to go with the Hawk stuff. I know that a lot of guys uh, really like the Hawk, but so far I've been using Leopold and I really like it just because of, if you listen to this, really positive clicks here not squishy I find the hawk to be kinda of squishy please don't beat up on me people um, for me I, I know there's a lot of hawk fans out there it's just that I'm just needing to get over this um, I still have it on my 25 cal that I'm gonna review so I'm gonna try it out so this is what we're using we're using the Leopold uh, tactical um, because this is a hunting rifle um, I have done a couple of tactical things first of all um, like my buddy Ted, um, he likes black rifles. Guess what? I like black rifles. Um, I hunt with mine. They're not there to make feel maybe make people think, oh my goodness, that's a cool rifle. No, I want it black and flat. Now, here's one of the features that I love. Check this out. This is called a Leopold ARD, anti-reflective device here. Pull it off here. Now, take a look through this. You see my white hand there? What this is, is a series of baffles um, that are shaped like little honeycombs and you can't see it. Like you can't, when you look through the scope, um, there's a little bit of a noticeable difference but you can't see it and it prevents um, it from, your, your scope from shining back at your quarry. Um, uh, in this case, I would be using it for uh, pests that I am controlling that are quite wary of me and they should be. Um, this rifle is what's called, well, rifle scope is this, <clears throat> dual use. Um, it's listed as Leopold as ha being dual use, and that is for hunting and for tactical. Obviously, this scope um, mounted on the right rifle is used for um, defending your country, um, and that's what I'll leave it at. Um, you defend your country with this rifle scope. Um, and it's obviously in a sniping configuration. We got our side focus, we got our turrets, and um, it's obviously to give you a tactical advantage over someone or something not seeing this reflection. Well, me, under this capacity, I'm using it for uh, preventing my quarry from seeing me. So let's get into the rifle. Um, this is my second Airwolf MCT in 22 cal. Now here's the di difference. This guy's 40 foot pounds. This is his most. This is the most powerful one I can get. Okay, the first MCT that I had was a 22 cal 30 foot pound, and I really got used to um, the rifle and his 
it's ballistics and it's, it's trajectory arcs. So this guy um, versus the 30 foot pound is way flatter shooting, okay? And it, I, you know, I thought 30 foot pounds was crazy and did a lot of things with authority. Well, guess what? <clears throat> Here's its bigger brother. And this guy puts a smack down, 40 foot pounds, and I'm using Barracudas. Driving them out at about uh, 900 to 910 feet per second. Um, they're 21 grain pellets, badass pellets. I love them. 0.51 head and necks, or uh, sorry, skirts. So let me get at what I did here. I used one rotary magazine. This same rotary magazine is what I did all my accuracy um, testing with. Um, the pellets that I used were the Barracudas. I didn't do anything to them. I didn't sort them, but I did wash and lube them. I did do that, um, but I had no sorting whatsoever in it. I just put them in there, loaded them up, and went for it. Um, <clears throat> it does. It did quite well. Now, the reason I didn't, I didn't, you know, just put the tray in here and fire away the most accurate way I know how. Um, is because this is a field gun, so I wanted to shoot it under field conditions, okay? One of the things um, that initially really perturbed, perturbed me uh, was the, the variable winds that I was experiencing on the range, and it was 5 to 10 uh, winds, uh, 5 to 10 miles an hour, and I thought, oh, this sucks, man. i got to wait for a calm day. I was like, no, this is it. This is what hunters are experiencing out there. Uh, I'm a hunter. Let's let's put this rifle through its paces in some crappy conditions, you know, not that beautiful morning, right? So I demonstrate what this is all about in those conditions. Um, I have some pictures coming up. I'm going to show them to you. <clears throat> I'm going to talk you through it. Um, but I've got a little piece of paper written down here. Um, I initially when I when I just like kind of zeroed this thing and just got it on paper. Um, 16 meters, <clears throat> 16 meters, and I found using the uh, chair gun software that the optimal zero for this bad boy is 31 meters. So I, I have zeroed it at 31 um, for my quarry. Um, then I went out to 43 meters, <clears throat> and I apologize for my I'm kind of like sticky throat here right now. And I went to from 43 to 61 meters, and then I went to 100 meters. And I have the groups um, that I've, I've, I've taken pictures of these groups. Um, I know that there's a lot of people out there that can do a lot better than this. And I myself can do way better than this. But it was interesting to show these rifles under real field conditions. Because all you see when these rifles are used is the rabbit <clears throat> getting shot or the crow getting shot, which you've, you know, we've all seen. Um, let's see what's doing out on the target. So, um, what the purpose of this video, when I do show you these um, these uh, pictures, is to demonstrate, you know, how much I'm being blown off and how big the groups are. I can shoot. I'm no slouch. Um, can I do better? I can always do better. But this is what's happening. So here it comes. Um, thanks for watching this. Take a look at my photos. This is the equipment I'm using. Um, you go to Sinclair.com uh, for this, and there we go. Any questions, uh, message me. I'm always usually really good about getting back um, to people. Thanks for watching, and I'll have some comments on the upcoming photos before the video is over. All right, thanks. All right, so here's the range that I was shooting at and got a lot of my left to right wind here. Coming up is my 16 meter zero, just when I got the rifle on paper, you know, so it's hitting accurately here. Here is my uh, trajectory arcs with uh, the chair gun software, and you can see the sweet spot here at around 30 meters. Getting out there to 31 meters, which is what my zero was at, um, you can see a nice tight groove at the bottom, and again, what the wind was doing to me. Out to 43 meters. Again, really tight sometimes, and the top group shows how much I was getting blown around sometimes. 61 meters, still really tight. Other than that flyer, I'm basically inside of, you know, three quarters of an inch. And finally, uh, this one flyer, you know, other than that, I'm about an inch and a half group at 100 yards. 
Next, I have some belting that I was shooting into uh, out at 100 yards as a backstop with my target on it. And this freaking 40 foot pound um, airwolf just drove these pellets into it. And I've seen this thing stop a 22 long rifle, so it just shows you how much powerful it has. How powerful it is. Here's some of my equipment that I'm using and my, um, my, uh, my sports match rings. Thanks very much for watching my video. Bye bye.